بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ناؤ نیکس ٹاپک اکارڈنگ ٹو یور سلیبس از دا میجر آف ریلیٹو ڈسپرشن بفور دس یو ہیو یوز دا میجر آف ڈسپرشن اونلی ان میجر آف ڈسپرشن وی میجر دی ویریشن آف دی ڈیٹا فرام مین ان اسٹینڈرڈ ڈیویشن وی میجر دی ویریشن آف دی ڈیٹا فرام مین In measure of central tendencies, you have find the central values with the help of three methods, mean, median and mode. But in this, we will compare the dispersion of two data. Measure of relative dispersion means find or calculate the relative dispersion of two different data. There are different methods but only one is included in your syllabus. that is coefficient of variation coefficient of variation represented by cv so if the absolute dispersion is the standard deviation the standard deviation is also called the absolute dispersion because after taking the square we convert the negative values into positive values you have used the formula of the standard deviation in previous video so if the absolute dispersion is the standard deviation and the average is the mean x bar so the relative dispersion is called coefficient of variation or coefficient of dispersion coefficient of variation of or coefficient of dispersion variation means dispersion it is given by this is the formula of the coefficient of variation very simple formula the standard deviation divided by mean x bar or the standard deviation upon mean x bar multiplied by 100 if you want to convert the data into percentage multiply by 100 or without percentage use this formula both are same this is the result in percentage this is the result without percentage so this is the explanation of the formula if the absolute dispersion is the standard deviation average is the mean the relative dispersion is called coefficient of variation and what is the purpose of relative dispersion coefficient of variation is frequently used in comparing dispersion of two or more series or data this is the purpose of the coefficient of variation or coefficient of relative dispersion there are different methods for measure the relative dispersion but only one is included in your syllabus cv so cv is frequently used in comparing dispersion of two or more series or data the smaller the cv the more consistent in the performance okay A smaller cv means less dispersion less variation less dispersion or variation means more consistent so the smaller the cv means the more consistent in the performance or indicate stability in the performance cv of 0.1 or 10% if you apply this formula you will obtain in points if you apply this formula you will obtain percentage both are same cv of 0.1 or 10% means that the standard deviation is 1/10 of the mean okay standard deviation 1/10 of the mean means the variation of the data is 1/10 of the mean so cv use to compare the variation of two data in first example you have already calculated the standard deviation and mean and second data you have already calculated the mean and standard deviation in this video i will calculate only the cv of the first data and you can calculate the cv of the second data and then check either which data is more stable more consistent you have used two data 
50 observation of the air pollution and 60 observation of the air pollution. You have already calculated the mean and standard deviation both. So apply the formula and calculate the coefficient of variation of first data. Substitute the value standard deviation 15.41 divided by mean is the 38.1 multiplied by 140.44. The conclusion will be the coefficient of air pollution of 50 large cities is 40.44. Same as calculate the CV of the second data. If the CV of the second data is less than the first data, then the conclusion will be the second data is more consistent or stable in the performance. If the value of first data is less than second data, first will be the more consistent in the performance. Okay. And next, measure of skewness. As you know that in measure of central tendencies, we measure the central values. In measure of dispersion, we measure the variation of the data. In measure of relative dispersion, we compare the variation of different data or series. In measure of skewness, we measure the flatness of the data, how dispersed the data right side or left side, positively or negatively. So according to definition, skewness indicates whether the curve or graph is turned more to one side than the other. There are two graphs between the midpoint and frequencies. You have already plotted the graph between midpoint and frequencies. Three types of graph you have plot. Number one histogram, frequency polygon and frequency curve. What is the frequency curve? If you plot the data midpoint on x axis frequencies on y axis, the graph will be like this or like this. If the left tail is long, it is called negative direction, negatively skewed data. If the direction is right side, the tail, right tail is long, the graph is called positively skewed or positive direction. So this is the negatively skewed graph, this is the positively skewed graph. In negatively skewed graph, the value of mean will be less than the median and mode. In positively skewed graph, value of mean will be more than, right hand side is the more than. This is the starting value 0, this is the infinity. Mean is more than the median and mode, the graph will be like this. Or if the graph is the right skewed, positively skewed, the mean will be the more than the median and mode. Okay? So you can write the conclusion from the graph, trend of the graph or you can write the conclusion with the help of mean, median, mode or with the help of graph. So there are two types, it may be positive like this or negative like this. It will be positive when mean is greater than the mode, mean is greater than the mode and negative when the mean is smaller than mode, mean is smaller than or less than the mode. And the flatness of the data, it measures the flatness of the data, this is the most important word students measure the flatness of the data. Flatness of the data means you know that the median divides the data into two equal parts. Median divides the data into two equal parts, either the positive or negative. 50% so observation lies left hand side, 50% right hand side in both. But this area is long area, more than this. And this area from median is more than this area. Data is 50-50% both sides because median divides the data into two equal parts. So this flatness, this data is more flat, this data is more flat. But if the mean is less than mode, will be negative. Why negative? This is the important thing. If you substitute in this formula, this is the formula of the skewness. 
mean minus more if this value is more than mean is more than the mode mean is greater than more than the mode the result will be positive divided by standard deviation you will obtain the answer same as if the mean is less than less than the mode left hand side the value is the left less than because this is the zero and this is the infinity if you substitute in this formula this value less than this value this is the greater value the result will be negative so if mean is less than mode the graph will be like this mean is more than mode graph will be like this and divided by standard deviation so you have already calculated the mean mode and standard deviation substitute in this formula you will obtain the skewness and this formula measure the variation from mean to mode from mean to mode this point this is the peak point and this is the flatness of the data how flat the data may be positive or negative both but what will be the value of this skewness so if you want to calculate the flatness from mode to mean then we use this formula if requirement is from median this point not exact turning point after this some data this point to mean because at this point to this point the area right hand side and left hand left hand side is approximately same okay from this point to this point but this is the turning point of the data more flat so requirement is calculate the flatness of the data from median to mean then we use second formula in this also same as this if mean is more than the median mean is the more than the median result will be positive same as this same as for negative if mean is less than the median substitute here mean minus median result will be negative mean is small median is large result will be negative because this is the negative sign then multiply by 3 in median this formula divided by standard deviation you will obtain this skewness if the result is negative the conclusion will be the distribution or data is negatively skewed if the result either from this formula or this formula the conclusion will be the distribution or data is positively skewed so skewness measure the flatness of the data this is very simple substitute you have already calculated the mean median and mode and standard deviation substitute in the formula you will obtain the result result may be either negative or positive if negative conclusion will be the negatively skewed distribution negatively skewed s k e w e d skewed distribution or positively skewed distribution from mean or to mode or from mean to median okay now we will solve the question question is calculate the skewness of first data now first we will use the first formula you can use any formula in exam you have to use only one formula not both formulas depend on the data if mean mode are given then we will use this formula if mean and median are given we will use this formula if mean median mode all are not given the first we will calculate the mean standard deviation and any one mode or median for skewness so first we will calculate mean median mode standard deviation and then substitute the value of mean this is the mean of the first data 38.1 mode 27.06 you can observe from previous videos divided by standard deviation 15.41 the result is 0.71 the conclusion will be the skewness from mean to mode mean to mode of air pollution of 50 large cities is 0.71 now from second formula substitute the mean median standard deviation the result is 0.73 or maybe approximately 0.73 conclusion the skewness from mean to median of air pollution of 50 large cities is 0.73 
and both are positive you can also write here the distribution is positively skewed okay in exam you have to apply only one formula not both so write one more sentence here the distribution frequency distribution is positively skewed because the result is positive if result is negative negatively skewed okay now fifth homework calculate the coefficient of variation cv and skewness of second data example number 2 allah peace